Good morning and I am so excited to tell you I am out hiking today. I am so excited to be out again. Anyone that doesn't know, I have been injured a lot over the last few months. So the first time out today with an attempt of 10 miles, I am in the village of Hartington, which is between Buxton and Ashbourne in the Peak District. So we're gonna do 10 miles and go around some beautiful little areas, places I've not actually been before, through some lovely gorges, through some little foresty woody areas, and obviously up to a trig point as well. Derek is with me over there somewhere. And it is about one degree Celsius at the moment, so it's really cold. And no doubt when we get onto the tops of the hills, it's gonna be even colder, but I am pumped and ready to hike. We have just entered Mawson Wood now and are glad to be out of that really cold wind. It is not too bad when it's not windy, but by me it's a chill in the air when it is. We are heading now through this wood and then at the other end we will be heading up to the trig point at Wolfscote Hill Trig, which is a bit of a steep climb, not too bad, I think we've done worse. And then we'll be literally retracing our steps, coming back down to this trail and then heading through Wolfscote Dale, which should be very pretty at this time of year with a few snowdrops, hopefully, sprouting up. There's lots of little birds hanging around and it is very quiet for a Sunday morning. It's about, I think about nine o'clock now. So it is very peaceful. I'm highly recommending this walk already if nobody's ever been to this area before. What I will do is put the route to this walk that I've planned in the description box. So if you do want to do it, it's a 10 mile route, just under 10 miles. I will put it there for you so you can check it out yourself. And while you're there, don't forget to like this video if you're enjoying it, subscribe to my channel, turning on the bell notifications so you get notified when I upload videos, which are usually hiking related, camping, gear reviews, little bit of everything really but I'm going to carry on walking and then film what I can and share any views or any wildlife that we come across with you.
have now made it to the top of Wolfscote Hill and here is the Chig Point. It is incredibly windy as usual on the top of Chig Point and very very cold so we will not be stopping here for our lunch or a drink. I think we'll be heading straight down and having it by the river. It has been a gorgeous walk so far. It is so peaceful, really quiet and it's been lovely walking along the river because we were watching a dipper for a while and watching all the, the birds and the wildlife around us. But we are going to head back down now because I'm worried that you won't be able to hear me with the wind noise. I do have my microphones on, but you never know. So I'm going to make my way down and talk to you more when I get down by the river. Now, isn't this just the most perfect place to stop and take a little rest alongside the river here in Wolfscote Dale, which is what we are now walking through. You've got all the gorgeous limestone cliffs behind me up here as well. It's absolutely gorgeous here. So we have had a lovely walk so far and I thought it was time to have some lunch, which today is banana pancakes. Now, first of all, I want to explain this jacket because I don't believe I've worn it in any videos so far. It's from the lovely people at Columbia and it is called the Platinum Peak Insulated Women's Jacket with a hood, which you can see here. Now, they sent me it to try out, so it is a gifted item and I thought today would be the perfect opportunity to tell you about it because I've worn it a few times already, but not on what I would call an epic hike where you're going up hills, where it's really cold wind and I wanted to put it to its test because they said that it's got this reflective material on the inside that is meant to reflect your own body heat back to you and keep you warmer than an ordinary jacket like this which, by the way, is vegan friendly because it is a recycled synthetic down so let me show you the secret weapon. Now this is what Columbia called their Omni Heat Infinity. Can you see all these tiny little gold dots? That is what is reflecting your body heat and it's on both sides and all down the arms and down the back. And I'm going to be honest and I'm not getting paid to say this because I have not been paid for this video. I've just been gifted the jacket and I can say anything I want about it, they said. I am loving it. It has kept me so warm. All I am wearing underneath this is one fleece and a base layer. And I was at the top of the hill. It was probably about minus three, minus four with the wind chill up there. And I was not cold. Didn't hang around long, <laughs> but I was not cold. So I am really liking this jacket so far. It's got a lovely spacey hood, lovely and roomy. So if you do need a helmet or a big bobble hat or something, there's plenty of room under there. It's got two pockets for your hands that have got zips on them and it has also got an inside pocket and this is where I tend to keep my phone, just in this one here. So there's plenty of space on the inside and it also folds all into its own pocket so you can keep it nice and compact and no doubt use it as a pillow if you're out while camping. So thank you Columbia for sending me this, I am enjoying it very much. I will put the details of it in the description box below if it's something that you want to look at yourself but I think it's rather nice. Now, I'm going to have some pancakes now and enjoy sitting here by the river while it's nice and peaceful.
we have seen a kingfisher, been in a cave and had a wonderful time walking along a river dove. But now we are going to Biggindale. <laughs> this is our trail. This is going to be fun. You can turn the tide. Let the water go where it wants to go. You can run and hide. And bury yourself beneath. We found another cave. Okay, this is quite a creepy cave. It goes really far back. Let me just stand out the light. Even I can't bring myself to go all the way down there because it gets really narrow as well. I'm going to see if Derek's going to do it for me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> he is going in. I want to see how far he gets before he turns around. <laughs> to another world it's still going oh my gosh <laughs> wow what's down there by me We've lost a visual on Derek. This is <laughs> okay. He is gone, and I cannot be seeing him anymore. And I hope he's still okay. He just said that it keeps going on and on, and it got to a little bit of a water area. Yet he's still going. I think I can still hear footsteps. I should be worried, shouldn't I? I can hear water and footsteps. <laughs> I'm going to give him a shout. Are you still all right down there? Yeah. Yeah, he's still all right. He's still going. I'm going to wait for him to come out. It looks a bit touchy in there. <laughs> I'm hoping he's filming. Yeah. Here he is. <laughs> the explorer is returning. I can see a light. I hope it's Derek. Is it you, Derek? <laughs> it is. <laughs> but saying that, anyone could have just replied yes, couldn't they? How was it? Oh, it's going on for miles. Does it? Yeah. You didn't even get to the end? No way in here. Wow. That is cool. We're going to have to look up that one. Let me take a breath Let me be a part of something real mm -hmm. Someone said it's better when You hold on to a helping hand Sometimes you could all use a friend We have made it back to the lovely village of Hartington and I would highly recommend this walk for anybody that is coming to this area or hasn't been here before. It was absolutely delightful. And I think some of the highlights for me was obviously going down into the, one of the caves and seeing the kingfisher. That it has just been absolutely delightful. A little word of warning though, is when you come back through Biggindale, it is incredibly muddy 
and I think the stream has taken over the path in places. So just be aware that your feet will get very dirty. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you want more content from me, don't forget I'm over on Patreon if you want to support me further over there. But I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Yeah,